Now, a group of privacy law experts have written to the Minister for Justice, Charlie Flanagan, expressing concern about the Public Services Card project. They want the rollout of additional services on the card to be delayed so a proper public consultation takes place. They believe the state is sleepwalking into a national identity database. One of those experts is Dr. Ronan Kennedy from the School of Law in NUI Galway. Ronan, just um, outline what your concerns are, please. That if it is not a national identity card, then that should be made clear and the, and the exact scope of it should be made clear. If it is intended to be a national identity card, then that should be made clear from the outset uh, rather than um, slowly spreading the scope of it out over time. Isn't there something deeply ironic about people's concerns about data protection and what the government may do with this information, even though the government are insisting that they will do absolutely nothing with the information and they're restricted by law from doing so? And the fact that people are in quite happy to use all sorts of social media and various forms of uh, communication on their phones that is used and harvested by private sector companies on a daily, hourly, by minute basis. I'm not sure that there's anything ironic about that. I think that people are right and entitled to have concerns about the harvesting and collection and, and processing. But they the don't. That's the point. They don't. Um, and yet they've, they're in a panic about a, about a public services card, some people. Well, I think that there are um, people like myself who would be quite careful about what we do and don't uh, reveal to uh, private companies. But I think there's also quite a different um, level of concern that exists around the state. Um, one of the things that's not really clear about this uh, new card is the extent to which that information is going to be uh, connected up between government, different government departments. Are they, what, what, what are the plans that government has to share that data? There should also be concerns about the uh, extent to which the um, public service is capable of uh, appropriately securing this type of data. Um, there have been incidents in the past where personal data has been inappropriately accessed. And we have seen incidents in uh, other European countries, such as the UK and Italy, where medical data has been shared with the private sector. 